What a beautiful day and what a wonderful time to begin our day with Jesus. Yes, this is the Monday edition of our morning devotion. Jesus ay kasama, panalangin at pagsamba sa umagang kay Gandawa. Pagpalang umaga, bawat araw ay puno ng pag-asa. Si Jesus ay kasama, pananalangin at pagsamba. Si Jesus ay kasama sa umaga ay gula. I'd like to welcome each one of you out there, those who are participators of our morning devotion, those who are regularly watching over this program of Knox United Methodist Church. I personally invite you to be with me, your host, Dr. Mary Mindilio. And I do hope that each one of us will intercede for one another, that each one of us would become participants to the very work of God this day, especially this morning, in our meditation. And as we continue, church, I would like us to welcome another song rendition coming from my son, uh, Enio Alvarado Mindillo II. So let's listen to Jen Jen and let's listen to the message of God through his song.
Now, church, we thank God for this uh, music and, and the message of the song that was uh, rendered to us by Jen Jen. And let's continue to uh, meditate on the message of the song. I do believe that there is something for you with that message. Now, I would like us to ponder upon the very word of God. If you have a Bible with you, please join me as we reflect and as we med meditate uh, this morning with the very word of God. It is taken in the New Testament, in the, the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 9, verses 24 to 27. Uh, again, it's chapter 9, verses 24 to 27. And this is what uh, Paul would like us to understand. You do not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize run in such a way as to get the prize everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training they do it to get a crown that will not last but we do it to get a crown that will last forever therefore i do not run like a man running aimlessly i do not fight like a man beating the air no i beat my body make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the price. Let's bow our heads and pray. Lord, just guide us and lead us as we listen to your word. May our meditation, O God, become our food the whole day. To become the food of our soul that we may be able, Lord, to face the, the challenges ahead of us. And pray that your Holy Spirit will lead us and guide us. And Jesus will teach us today with this word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The title of our reflection and meditation is Dedicate to Win. Yes, let me say that again. Dedicate to Win. Uh, expression that uh, Paul um, shared to us, that Paul has imparted. Now, there is a need for us to win. And every race, we are aiming to win. Now, winning requires preparation. Preparation requires discipline and dedication. Now, it is very important that in any race, you should not just prepare. You must have that dedicated heart to prepare and dedicated heart towards your objective now in this case church there is a need to run and this race has something to do with race that we that we lost forever and if you try to take that race that will not that will be forever and that will last forever there's a need for us to prepare but it requires dedication now it is very important for us to dedicate all the things that we do we do not do things haphazardly we do not do things here temporarily we do things with complete dedication of our heart our soul and our mind mind you church those people who are dedicated in their work they win those who are dedicated in their faith they receive enormous blessing and they even receive something that is beyond their expectation why because there is dedication that they have put on it now Heidelin Diaz for instance won the first gold for the Philippines because of a dedicated preparation just imagine he went abroad to to train and even without uh, proper equipment, she was able to make himself ready and prepared and equipped. Her heart was so dedicated in, in, in what uh, she wanted to realize and to win the gold. Nothing less. And this is very important for us, church. If you want to get something from your work, if you want to receive blessing this day and this very our, I, I, I'm telling this to you, church, you must have a deep dedication in what you do. Now, part of the dedication, church, is um, each one of us 
should give um, seriousness of our work. Now, according to Paul, he said here that I do not run aimlessly and I do not fight like a man beating the air. You know, you just, you know, dropping the air, you're hitting nothing. I mean, you are not going anywhere, church. Why? Because you are not giving your whole dedication to what you do. Now, you can win your race if you learn how to seriously dedicate your mind, your heart, your time, everything that you have, then you will win. I guarantee you, today, church, if you are serious about what you want to do today, right now, I will tell you, you have to dedicate what you want to do in order to accomplish great things. Number two, you have to take the rigors of it. According to our text, um, Paul said that when there is a competition, there is a race, there is what is strict training. And that's the, the, the rigors I'm talking about. You know, I still remember when I was still active in the marathon um, running or running marathon races. I, uh, especially when I have to prepare for the 42 kilometer race, um, participating in such uh, requires a lot of, of training, a lot of strict implementation of rigorous um, putting up your your um, time in a schedule and doing things so that you would be able to finish the race. The winning the race is not just about to become number one. Winning the prize is when you finish the race. Winning the prize is something that you have achieved what you wanted to achieve. There was a time when um, I decided to stop the, the race when I had this Milo Marathon 42K run. Um, at the 30th kilometer, uh, I'm in, in so pain um, with my legs and, and my thighs cramping. Um, I said I should stop. But you see, when you have prepared for it, you will say to your mind and to your body, I can. Because you're dedicated to such kind of endeavor, you will not say, I quit. But you will continue and you will say, I will finish the race. Thirdly, church, you have to, to aim to, to win. What does it mean to win? To win is to complete the race. It is at about the first, first price thing or the second price thing. It's about what? Completing your race. You know, when I was running, whether that's 21 kilometer or 42K, run you see i'm not competing for the first prize plum i am competing on my own because i have to beat my time i have to be be better than before and once i have reached the finish line and received the medal i said to myself yes this is the byproduct of my dedication to that work and today today church the same thing can happen to you if you just simply dedicate your plans, your, your endeavor, your strength, everything that you do today. I'll tell you, you will win. This afternoon, you will receive the price of what you have done because of your dedication. May the Lord be with you as you take the challenge of running this race of your life, of your work. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So praise God. We are now in this time of prayer. Let us come together. Let us uh, partner in praying for one another. And of course, I'm going to lead you uh, towards that direction. And before doing so, let, doing so, let us uh, greet our birthday celebrators today. It's Peter Fuentes de la Cruz and Raymond Diwa and Ariel Sim. The three of you, happy birthday. Let's give them a round of applause. Yes, a round of applause for these three who are celebrating their birthday today. We'll include them in our prayer later on. And of course, let's, uh, we, we, we thank God for this uh, successful uh, founding anniversary of uh, Knox United Methodist Church yesterday. We thank you for uh, being with us during that celebration and be able to have a very meaningful worship service, dedicating the time to honor God because of His faithfulness and goodness 
to Knox United Methodist Church for the past 123 years. Let's also continue to pray for those who are sick, uh, those who will go to their work. Yes, you are always in our radar. You are always um, part of our prayer. Those who are uh, having problem with their work, of course, and those who would like to find a job, those who are going somewhere else and planning other things for their family and for themselves. Yes, you are included as well. And more so, those who are sick right now, if you are with me, I want you to lift your hand and as I pray, if that is you, then you just declare the portion of your body that, that uh, needs uh, some, kind of, uh, um, some kind of healing. And I pray that it will be gone right now in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you so much for bringing us together as we intercede for one another and as we pray for before you, Lord, with all our concerns, our needs, our fears, things, Lord, that we, um, we want to happen, plans, Lord, that we would like to achieve. Lord God, right now, I speak in the name of Jesus that each one of us, Lord, will be blessed as I lift my hand towards you, towards those people who are watching and praying with me, that the power will come right now upon them and that you will give them, Lord, the desires of their hearts and that you will give them, Lord, the peace that they need and even the protection that they need. I pray, Lord, that you will bless each one, that they will, they will be given joy, they will be given, Father God, this uh, fulfillment of what they they wish what they appeal and what they want lord i pray that you will give that to them if it is your will lord and if you permit it lord in jesus name it will happen i declare it say it now brothers and sisters in christ say it now say what you want and say you claim it in the name of jesus if it is god's will for you to have it in jesus name it's yours now lord i'm praying for those who are sick i pray that you will heal them i pray father god that they will return to their normal condition in the normal ways and you will give them strength lord and you will provide them lord the best of everything i'm praying lord lord for the frontliners all over the world uh, doctors nurses at, at uh, hospital attendants technicians and and many more lord i pray that you will be there to protect them and to keep them away from any harm and that you will enable them lord to have a better and a good immunity to thwart even the infection of COVID-19 and be able to have the strength, Lord, to help other people and to, to save other, other people. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to pray for those who are down in threatened, those who are experiencing trouble and those who are having fear in their lives. I pray, Lord, that you will protect them. And any situation there is, Lord, be gone right now as declare it, brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray right now, whatever situation you may have, just say it right now and say, be gone right now. If there is sickness, there is disease in your body, I want you to declare that disease. I want you to declare that, that abnormality in your whole body in the name of Jesus and I will declare it. Be gone. Say it now. Be gone. Say it one more time. Be gone. And I want you to check that out that God has poured out His blessing to you. He has poured out unto you His healing power. You are healed. You are healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I'm praying for those who will go to their work, those who will travel, those who will take the bus, those who will take the taxi, those who will take their own car. Lord, give them protection. Keep them away, Lord, from any accident in Jesus' name. Give them, Lord, the best of everything today that they will enjoy the blessing of, of life, provisions, and even, Lord God, your presence will be received by each one of us who, who continuously praying and continuously, Lord, pouring out our heart before you. And today, as I pray for each one, I ask that even their home, Lord, will be blessed by you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, O oh God, for the successful celebration of uh, the 123rd founding anniversary of Knox United Methodist Church. Thank you for all those who participated in the month-long celebration. Thank you, O oh God, for guiding us. Thank you, O oh God, for the replica covenant, for the offering, and for all, oh Lord, of those who have participated. Thank you, O oh Lord God, for your kindness and goodness to your church. We commit the leaders. We commit, Lord, 
for the continued manifestation of your power so that growth will be achieved by this church growth in our finances growth in the number growth in those who will become members of this beloved church our beloved church lord god all of this we commend it unto you you deserve our praise in our thanksgiving this is our prayer in jesus mighty name amen and so church that ends our morning devotion and today i would like to admonish each one of you to keep on believing that when you dedicate something to the lord you will win and i do hope that at the end of this day you will say to yourself i won god bless you good day this is dr Mary saying god bless us all